In this video, I'm going to show you how to make a handmade card and envelope using your Cricut. So to get started, here is a peek into the project in Design Space. I'll include a link below and you can just click it and make this project too. Most of the images are free here, but some do cost money unless you have Cricut access. You can also resize these. Right now they're sized to about a five by seven card, but everything is already made and ready to go. So all you have to do is come up to the top right hand corner, click on make it and you'll be set. So the first thing I'm going to do is get my paper on a cutting mat. I'm using a light grip Cutting mat. This craft board from Cricut is pretty thick, so you also could use a standard grip cutting mat, but I just got this light grip one. It's brand new, so it will definitely be sticky enough. So I'm just gonna get it lined up. Use a scraper tool to help apply it onto the mat. So for this project, I'm going to be using the fine point blade, which is the blade that comes with every machine. And I'm also going to be using a scoring stylus to score the paper. And I'm using a Cricut Maker today, but you can actually make this project with any Cricut machine. You can use the Air 2 as well because the scoring stylus works for both the Maker and the Air 2. So we'll just put it in the slot and you're gonna listen for a little click. And then we're all set. One last tip here as well. So we're using craft board for the brown paper and the white paper, but don't forget to change your cutting settings when you um, switch to the deluxe paper from Cricut. So don't forget to change your cutting settings, otherwise it might not cut properly. So we'll get this loaded in. If you have an Air 2, you'll have to move your smart dial to the custom setting and then search for craft board if you're using this paper. And then of course with the maker, you'll also have to search for craft board as well. So we'll get this one cutting. It's going to cut and score all in one swoop. So to remove the materials from the cutting mat, I actually like to flip the mat over and then let the mat do the bending while I hold the material straight. We have a whole entire video talking about this tip, so I will link that for you. Definitely go check that out. And then as you can tell, your card is perfectly straight. And I also wanted to give you a little close up of the score lines. So we use the scoring stylus to score, but you can use the scoring wheel as well if you have the Cricut Maker. Either one will work. So we're officially done cutting and scoring. I feel like that was a lot of cutting and scoring, but we've got our three different cards here. So these are going to be the envelopes and these will be the little inserts that go on the envelope. So we'll just glue it on there. These are the actual cards. I love this pretty floral. And then I'm going to put this white insert on the inside of the card so I can write on it. And then if there's a pattern, you'll still be able to see. So this next step, we're just really going to be folding along the score lines and gluing everything. So here is an envelope and then one of the inserts to go on the envelope. There's gonna be like a shorter side and a longer side, and you're gonna want the shorter side to place the insert onto. And all we're going to do is line up the crease lines. So the Cricut did a score line on this insert and on the crease board so it makes it super simple to line up and know where to put it so I'm going to grab a glue stick and guys this is so simple I'm literally just going to glue the back make sure to get around the edges oh I shouldn't do that on the paper and then we will just place it on the card lining up the score lines and also trying to center it and then once we got it in place we'll just push down so that's the insert. And now we're going to fold in the sides to make the envelope. So I'm gonna start on these sides. We're gonna fold them in and then fold this bottom piece up. So I'm just folding along the crease line. I'm actually gonna grab my scoring stylus. You can just use your finger to push down if you want. I feel like this really helps to push it down. So you can grab this or even your scraper tool just to really help make the crease. And then we'll do the other side. So I'll just start with my fingers and then push down. So we're going to apply glue on these sides, but first I'm going to fold this bottom piece up. 
And now I'm going to come back and I'm just going to apply glue like on this bottom portion. Obviously you don't want to apply glue up here. And I'm also going to apply a little bit of glue on the bottom. Then we'll fold it up. Now, the craft board, if you're using this material, it's pretty heavy duty stuff. It's a thick paper. I'm actually going to place something on top of it just to give it some weight. And I'm just gonna let that sit for a couple minutes while it dries. And I forgot this one as well, but we do have a score at the top. This one's probably gonna be the hardest to crease because you're creasing two pieces of paper. And then that's it, you guys. Look how simple that is. And then when you open it up, Look how cute! I'm super excited about these. So I'm gonna let this continue to dry. So the next thing that we're going to do is do the card. And I really love this scalloped edge with these little dots. And as you can guess, this is super simple. Just fold along the score line again. In this deluxe paper, it's much lighter than the craft board, so it's a little bit easier to work with. So same thing, I'm just gonna cover the back and glue. And then I'll do my best to get this centered and straight and that's it we'll let this dry and we'll get the other cards assembled all right so that's it you guys that is how you can make some handmade cards with your Cricut I will link everything below. You can purchase all this stuff on our website. I absolutely love how this project came out. If you're mailing these, you can use double-sided tape or glue dots or something to hold it down. So I think I'll do that. I also think I'm gonna wrap a few in twine that I'll just hand deliver. Thank you so much for watching our video today. I hope that it was helpful for you. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below and someone on our team would love to help you out. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up and hit subscribe for more Cricut videos. Thanks for watching.